And now it's the start of the show. Because at last I have my pants on. Thank you for wearing pants. It's true, it's true. All right, let's get, let's get it out of the way. Let's get the very obvious out of the way. Last weekend was the holidays. Lots of mixed emotions about them. I want to share just one holiday experience, and then we're gonna we're gonna move way the heck past it. I was I was invited to a, a very traditional Christmas dinner tree trimming, and they had a new baby, first Christmas. And this was not I'm a baby sitting there drooling. This is I'm up and I'm totally well like you guys, drunk and invested in my environment. <laughs> and. He was tearing open packages and everything was shiny and new. And I remember at one point he was given a box that was bigger than he was, bigger than the tree, just this enormous box. And I don't remember what was in it because I found myself across from this not quite one-year-old drumming on top of the box. And he was banging out his own little rhythm. And I was banging along with him, and he looked at me with these baby blue eyes. And in that moment, I realized that everything I might know about the holidays, he knew better because he knew way less. <laughs> but what he taught me, and I wanted to share with everything, with everyone here before we get rolling forward, is drum to your own rhythm in the midst of the chaos. With, with the paper going up and the madness going up, just, just find your own rhythm and, and make your own day, because he was totally there. We were there together. It was definitely Christmas. We weren't hiding in the corner thinking we were too cool for school. We were a part of it, and that was, that was actually a good moment for me. So I wanted to share that first of all. I know this is a tough season. I mean, if you think about it, we start with Halloween, which is this big spooky party. We had one too. It was, it was, it was nothing, it was nothing. And you know, which is a festival to celebrate the macabre nature of man. And then we kill a turkey. And then we get to Christmas and we kill a goose. What is it with us with dead things and killing birds? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. And eating their flesh to gain their powers. I, there's something wrong, fundamentally wrong there. That was actually pretty good. I'm going to let him have it. The, the point is, it's, it's a tough thing, and at the best of times, we get childhood glee. We get to dance and drum on boxes, and at the worst, I'm not going to lie, it's an emotional meat grinder for some of us, and it is a tough holiday, and this year has been tough for a lot of people, and normally, we, we don't even touch this topic. New people, you have to understand, this is like the verboten topic of the open stage. We call it the real world, and we just leave it. One day a week, we are allowed to box it up and pretend it doesn't exist, and that's what this place is for, but I wanted to point something out that I've been thinking about. I, I had Jay Redden, who's usually here, he's not with us tonight, usually jokingly calls me the papa of the open stage. And I realized I've been a terrible parent for one reason. I have said you're amazing. I have said you're awesome. I have not said I was proud of you guys. I've been wanting a chance to say that. I mean, it, as always, it's easy to be positive when everything's going great. It's easy to be you know, happy when everything's going wonderful and we're getting in the paper. But when when you have a crud week or you're sitting across the street from your arch nemesis, <laughs> like I have so many years, when you're, when you're sitting across from that arch nemesis, it's, it's hard to take a breath and go, I'm gonna be positive just like I learned. When you're thinking, I'm going to stab my Uncle Al with this fork. <laughs> Positivity wins. And that's what I wanna say I'm proud of you all for. Yes, I'm proud of you for not stabbing your uncle. Bravo. And any other relatives that made it through the holiday, good for them. <laughs> we're, we're moving into, uh, this is actually the last show of this year. Next year, well, think about it. You know, next year is New Year's Eve, and next week it's New Year's Eve. We're going to be here on January 2nd. We're going to have a great show. <laughs> but really, you know, I, I think of New Year's Eve as like amateur night for alcoholics. Because I, well, to be fair, I learned to drink at the open stage, and we drink more on a Monday than most people do all year. <laughs> And we're funnier for it. So, you know, this is that moment where I say, okay, we're heading into the next year. We're actually coming up and we're starting to plan for our one year anniversary of the open stage. <laughs> this time last year, I remember a conversation. I was sitting with Valos, who is the guy who hit me with a pie last week. <laughs> for, for, 
for Christmas. <laughs> he hit me with Christmas. a... Yeah, it was great. He got my dessert in. Best present of the year. It was. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. But he, he, last year, this time last year, we didn't have an open stage. And I remember he and I were sitting together and we were talking. And he said something to me that kind of kind of hooks into the New Year's thing. And he said, I need you to stop saying you'll quit. And I was about to say something clever and he held up his hand and very calmly said, I am now prepared to follow you through fire, carry bricks across broken glass to wherever you point and there we will take these bricks and build castles in the sky. I just need to know that the guy I'm following isn't gonna walk off every time it gets whiny and hard. And I had this massive reboot. And in that moment, I took a breath and I said, okay, I'm all in. I have never committed so thoroughly to something in my life. And what I was committing to was open stage and creative motion and the circus freaks and all of the events we do and all of the things we do. That was how I came into the end of the year. I want you to know I've been flying that way for a year and my New Year's resolution this year is, let's see what we can do with that already in place. Let's start a year warmed up with no, no idea how to stop. Where if our visions are big enough and our dreams are big enough that every obstacle, because we've climbed over some over the last year, but we could hit the Grand Canyon and look at our, our road stretching out and it's just a pothole. We'll just figure out what we need to do and we'll fix it. And so I want you guys to know I'm all in. Let's get the show on the road.